Well, speaking of the T.S. Madison experience. Uh huh. And we TV. Uh huh. I don't think the Braxton family oh, value girl, is going to last. Has I she don't. Gone? I didn't even see this in there. Has she gone? You ain't missing much. I don't think the T.S. Madison experience, I mean, the Braxton family value is going to last. They might well bring us back on over They there. may as well. <laughs> now, I'm going to tell you, now, I'm a person who watched all seasons of the Braxton family value, and I watched the spinoff of Tamar and Vince. Uh-huh. If you watch this season, it feels to me as if they don't really want to have real honest conversation with each other because they don't want it to become as contentious as it was when they had that first run through. And I'm going to tell you something because, you know, we did business with WeTV. I can look at it and tell that it's so staged and set up. Mm -hmm. The first episode, they're all together. Tamar is there. The sisters are there. The mama is there because they were talking about grieving and grief and about uh, Tracy. When I tell you, they have not been in the same room with Tamar since that first episode. There are four episodes. They were only in the room with her on that first episode. And I'm just going to tell you like this. It feels to me that Tawanda don't like Tamar. It feels to me like she don't even want to be in the room with her. And the, ep the most recent episode, Tamar said she did the podcast with We Sound Crazy, which is a music podcast on YouTube. She said she has it now in her contract or it, it's agreed upon that there has to be a therapist on the scene, on the set, when she's filming with certain cast members. Oh, wow. And you got to have a therapist on the scene to film with your family? Bitch, take that off the air. <laughs> and the thing is, it's almost like, where my people who watch Girlfriends? My girlfriend. Remember when they took took Jill Marie Jones off, the one that played Tony? Mm -hmm. And when that first season came back, when Tony was no longer there, and all they talked about was Tony and where yeah. Tony was. Tony wasn't even on it. That's what this first season is. All they talk about is Tracy. Now I do understand that they got to talk about that because that was that was she was a part of their family, and it's a it's a great way to bring attention to esophageal mm -hmm. cancer. But that's all they're she talking had about. Throat cancer? Yes. And she wasn't really a star on the show when, when they did the first run. Remember, they got upset with her. They got upset with her when they were trying to get more money from WeTV. And Tracy went on and filmed anyway. They all were upset with her because they were supposed to be boycotting. But it's like she wasn't even the star when they did the first pass of the show. But that's all they're talking about now. Because to me, the magic is gone from that show. Mm. Uh, what's the one that sounds like she's from fucking Canada or from uh, up here in, in Boston somewhere? The one that had bar chicks. Trina, why does she talk like that? She is from Maryland. How she sound, Craig? Can you do a, an, an impression? Uh, she She's like, uh, how does she talk? It, it's like she got this New England accent. She's like, because uh, we all like you're like girl what are you girl are you British what the fuck like I don't understand that but it's like she's not interesting her husband is boring as hell Vaughn he's boring Tawanda is holding back she's not really saying the things that she wants to say because in this last episode little Kevin Tracy's son it comes out in the storyline that Tracy left everything to him. Now, mind you, Tracy was married for decades, but she left everything to the son. And the husband is upset. And the husband and the son, the husband and the son don't even speak because of this. When I tell you, uh, Tawanda said, don't make me say, because I, I mean, it's going to really get real in here if I have to say what's really going on. And that's exactly what it feels like that they're all holding back. It feels like they're not saying what needs to be said. So take the shit off the air. Just take it off the air. Because at this point, Tamar is only filming with her, her assistant or her mother. She's filming with everybody except all of the sisters. Everybody else is filming together. 
uh, uh, Tawanda, Trina, Tony, the mama. But then Tamar is over here with her friends and whatever she got going on. Like, what? what why, why are we here, Ike? Why are we here? Why is she here? So, Craig, what do you propose? Take do? it off the air. But it's keeping you there. <laughs> well, I'm trying to give them some ratings. But they're gonna they're gonna have ratings because it's no, no, no. It's just not interesting anymore. It's lost its luster. It's lost its luster. How do you think they can get it back? Be honest. <laughs> so what what is the honesty that's missing? They really need to address the elephant in the room, and which they, is they need to bring uh, Iyala back, and they need to say. Tawanda admitted, you don't like Tamar. Y'all, you feel like she is the cancer in the family. And you, and see, here's what I think happened. And I like Tamar. And here's what I think happened, though. I think what happened was Tamar became the breakout star in the original run of the show. Because Tamar was married to Vince at the time, they knew how to use that show to launch her first record. The same way that when Candy Burris went on to the Housewives of Atlanta that second season, she's the only one over there that knew how to use television to leverage herself. She knew how to do that. Vince knew how to do that with Tamar. When they first went over there, not only did they leverage that album because they showed her in the studio, all of them other children, Tawanda, Trina, they didn't, and, and, and even Tracy, God rest her soul, none of them knew what to do with that platform. You said it best when we were doing the T.S. Madison experience. This is an extended commercial. That's it. This is how we promote everything that we got going on right now. Mm -hmm. Bitch, I talked about them books yeah. that I wrote. Yes. And that's what they did with Tamar. They did that album. They showed her in rehearsals. They showed her dropping singles. They showed her in the studio. And then they even got a spinoff show, Tamar and Vince. The mother children, they didn't know what to do. Even Tony Braxton, the legendary Tony Braxton herself, didn't know what to do with reality TV. They, could, they, they didn't brand anything else. And I think they resented Tamar because she became the breakout star and then she became successful. And if I'm being completely honest, and I love Tamar, being completely honest, I think the success and the excitement of their success did kind of go to her head and it kind of made her a monster in her family. She's already the baby of the family. She's already the baby. And so it made that, that spoiled stuff kind of came out even more. And then when she became the star, became famous, it was like she she kind of made all of them the butt of her jokes. They We TV made her the star of the show. Then she got that spinoff show. And I just think it fractured their relationship. And I think it's gotten to the point where Tawanda just doesn't like to be in the room with her. You can look at Tawanda's body language when Tamar is there. She won't even look at her. They had that first, Go look at that first episode. They, they're doing a grief counseling session. And Tamar and Tawanda are sitting sitting side by side. And Tawanda is talking like this, looking down at the ground. She looks at her every now and then. She don't even really look at her. Mm. Where, and, where was Tony Braxton? T Tony was sitting over there, was too. Was she singing? Child. <laughs>
Next. Come and take these tears away I need your arms to hold me now The knives are so ungone Bring back those knives when I held you beside me Unbreak my heart Say you love me again And walk down my life Unwind these tears I cry so many, many nights Unbreak my heart My heart <laughs> Let's right, do the premiere next week on the Brexit Family. <laughs> Tony breaks this breakout performance. You know, when I was in Vegas a few months ago, I was going to go to her residency, but it's not really a residency. What is it? It's kind of like an extended stay. She's not there every day. Oh. <laughs> Get them out! Get them out! It's more like an extended stay. <laughs> Get them out of here! Oh my goodness. <laughs> I thought you were about to say a concert. I was going to say an Get them out. Oh God. But yeah, they just need to go ahead and take them girls off the air. No, I want to listen. I don't want no black TV to come off air. I don't. Are you watching it? <laughs> <laughs> Have you watched a single episode? <laughs> and I dare you lie. Now you over here tweeting and carrying on about the deliverance, but you ain't watched the Braxton. <laughs> well, I have business with Lee there. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. The business I had with We TV, I posted about it. Right. <laughs> I was on Wigging Out. Right. Those... You, you you tweeted about Wigging Out. Yeah. I ain't <laughs> seen nothing about the Braxtons. <laughs> I thought you were in Tamar with girlfriends. That is my girlfriend. That is my girlfriend. <laughs> but I did see her reading the network down to the floor and also gave me advice on the network. Right. But then we're, we're back over there. So I'm just <laughs> like, <laughs> well, you know, she said that they're back over there because it was one of Tracy's dying wishes uh, that they all come back together. And, you know, so I get that. I understand that. But that show is terrible. It's no storyline, but even in this and even in this reboot, Tamar is promoting this book. She had a has a book that's coming out. Um, the working title—I don't know if she's um, confirmed it—but the working title is um, "Unbreak My un, Heart." Un, no, under <laughs> under, under <laughs> what is it? Under destruction? Really bad. No. I under don't. construction or something like it's like under construction. <laughs> But again, she's already promoting and talking about this book. Again, using television. Them other children ain't got nothing going on. They ain't promoting nothing. Craig, you sound like that you feel some type of way internally about these people because they're from Maryland. Well, because I just feel like you have this platform and you need to be promoting it. Like you have you need to have some business that you're promoting. Basically, they need to do more. Because we know we TV ain't paying them a whole bunch of money. Now, y'all can say what y'all want about them Kardashians. Every time them bitches are on TV, they promoting something. One time I was watching that shit, and they were all at a restaurant. And there was a bottle of tequila on the, on the table. When you finish, I'm going to interject. Right. And I was just like, 
I ain't never been to no restaurant where they have a whole bottle of alcohol on the table, right? You got your drinks, but there ain't no whole bottle. And I don't mean like at a club when there's bottle service. I mean, they were at a restaurant. And I Googled the name of the of the tequila and God damn it, if that damn Kendall, Kendall Jenner didn't own it. Product placement. Well, let's talk. These girls don't have nothing. Can we the speak? Braxton's. Can we speak? Go ahead. I know they white. Oh, okay. Because I just want to let you know. <laughs> I know they white. Oh, I just like for you to understand that there are different stipulations for us Negroes. You, that you know, I know. There are different stipulations for us. We 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 do television. Correct. Not that we've done because I still do TV. Right. And there's stipulation for us Negroes. That's true. We have to have this one on. Yeah. Yeah, we, this has to be a part of what we got going on. Correct, but we also built it like that too. Come on, let, let, if we go. Now talk you're about talking it, good. Let's talk about it. Now you're talking good. We, we also built this. Correct, basketball wives, uh, loving, loving hip hop, hip -hop. Real Housewives of Atlanta. We also, well, no, there's 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 there's, 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 there's a step of just a, a inch. I don't even know if I would give it an inch. Okay, well, there, where 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 loving hip hop is six inch heels. They're five and three quarters. Okay. This is what the, the requirements for us. Mm -hmm. This is why we not. This is why our season is still over there in limbo because we didn't do any of this. Right. And I had said that while I was in the space operating like that, mm -hmm. I was not doing any of that. Mm -hmm. And as long as and, and here's the thing, I am jazz was still on TV. All these other transgender shows were still in the spaces that didn't have to do any any of, of that. We ain't seen, we seen the Kardashians do, <laughs> we seen them do dynasty pushes. Right. And and dynasty tabs. I need to see comments, Mo. Oh, yeah, but I was going to, because there, there's Let also, me see what these comments saying, though. We come back to that. We need, we, we, the dynasty pushes. Yes, indeed. Crystal Carrington. Right. Ah, we seen that. The requirements for us Negroes is Zeus requirements. Mm-hmm. Zeus network requirements. Mm-hmm. There's not a trailer. There's not a a a promo sizzle that, reel. Nothing that I don't see with Zeus. Anything to do with Zeus or anything African American or color, where this is not this, right. This is not the ending or the opening of the scene. Right. With the Kardashians and anything in that sus in that thing, even with the Grizzlies, we saw them product placement from the top because the network was also getting a chunk of that. That's right. That's right. The networks was getting a chunk of that. Isn't it called the, the Bethany Frankel clause? Yes. Y'all remember add, Bethany Frankel? Yeah, they added that clause to reality TV because Bethany Frankel went out there. And made all of that money. Made all of that coin. From the, wasn't it the skinny girl, Martina, yeah. whatever the fuck it was. She made all of this money from it. And they didn't get a piece of it. The network didn't get a piece of that. So after they saw how she became a millionaire many times. Oh! Oh, Mo get it. Once she became a millionaire many times over, network TV, in, in particular, reality TV contracts change. Go ahead. Sorry, babe. Reality TV contracts change where if you were coming onto a show and you had a product, they needed to get a percentage of that. Yes. If they were if because if, if your sales were going to increase after being on television, they wanted a piece of that. You know, they tried to do that with me and my books. And I said, Oh, no, 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 no. I had published these before I knew y'all. Do you got something to sit behind? I, I published these before I knew her. Y'all can't have no piece of this. It was the same thing about my YouTube channel, about all of that. Like right. when we had those, when we had those conversations, like with the network, I was like, no, we got to, we got to carve all around this. Anything bigdigbitch.com. Cause they definitely had conversations right. about bigdigbitch.com too. Right. I was like, no, 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 no. If I didn't pay the government, what makes you think I'm gonna pay you? <laughs> Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. If Uncle Sam went in there on his knees next to me sucking those dicks, I don't owe him a motherfucking thing. Him and he her. certainly didn't help me write it. <laughs> that goes for anybody that walked in the door, bitch. Because, bitch, I was already established entity. That's right. Anybody. That's the same thing I had to let former management know. Anything that was coming in before you arrived, you had to let who former management know. Anything that was going on before you arrived here, you're not entitled to. That. 
I was already making a piece of change before you arrived. Oh God. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> You did not have to drop your jaw down like that. I just wanted like it that. to be understood. Right. And it was clear. Abundantly clear. I needed it to be understood that you didn't bring that. If you didn't bring nothing in, you damn sure ain't taking nothing up out of this motherfucker. If you didn't bring anything in here, you're, you're, you, uh, you a nigga. You leave it with what you came with. That way. <laughs> <laughs> That way. That way. <laughs> oh my God. My God today. Upon us. Yes, indeed. Unto us a son Period. was given. Okay. Hallelujah. <laughs> Unto us a son, son. was given. Yes. Mm -hmm. 